So here we are in Cadiz. Just met, got off the ship. Just made our way into the main uh, into the main square. Been here many, many, many times, and uh, I know exactly where I'm going today because I've got some Wi-Fi to do. And there's a little cafe down some streets down there. So uh, that's where I'm going to be heading. But uh, I just sit and have a coffee in the square for a minute. <laughs> So Cadiz can be a little bit like a rabbit warren with all these little side streets and back streets and uh, you know it's, it's cool to actually just walk around and just get lost in it all. So I finally got some decent Wi-Fi so I can download Finale and start working on some parts. So I'm just back at the ship now and uh, kind of regretting wearing this coat because uh, temperatures picked up quite a lot. We've got a deck set sail away today at half past four so I've got to get back to the ship early to uh, set up and get prepared. Back on the ship after a nice day walking around Cadiz. Temperatures uh, heating up a little bit now. Don't know what it's up to, but uh, I'm gonna have to be careful with all my sunburn. As you might have noticed, I'm on the uh, Zappa t-shirt again, so I'm on the second cycle through all the clothes. Yesterday I got a little sunburn because uh, I didn't put any sun cream on like an idiot. And uh, to be honest, I didn't realize it was gonna be as, uh, as uh, hot and sunny as it was. That's one of the things you have to be a little bit careful about when you're working on a ship. Um, often you'll be in really, really hot places, you know. And uh, if you're not careful, when when you're out in port sometimes you can really start to feel like you're uh, you're on your holidays and uh, you know you might start drinking you know sunbathing whatever it's really easy to have a few too many beers down at the beach or sit out in the sun too long and then you've got to work on the evening and you know it's not good for crew the alcohol limit sets two units and if you get breathalyzed and you're over that then uh, you get the sack and you're off. Now, as you can imagine, two units isn't that much, and uh, on, especially on the bigger ships where you've got huge crew bars, you know, and a thriving social scene, a lot of people are gonna be over that two units uh, <laughs> limit quite a lot. The main thing that you've got to avoid is doing something stupid. You know, you get wasted and then draw attention to yourself, and before you know it, officers are down there, you're getting breathalyzed and you're off the ship. And when they kick you off, it could be from anywhere. So, you know, if you're English and you get kicked off in Australia, let's say, you're gonna have to get all the way back from there. Over the years, I've seen many, many musicians and other crew members get uh, get the sack and kicked off because of being breathalyzed. Generally, it's because they've done something stupid, and especially if they've done something stupid in a passenger area. One of the worst things you could do is get off the ship, go to a bar, have too many drinks, come back and then stagger onto the gangway with all the security there. That's a surefire way to get the bullet. <laughs> While on the subject of sunburn as well, that's another thing that you've got to be careful of because the last thing you want is to get off the ship, you know, be out sunbathing at the beach and get sunstruck, you know, and then you feel ill, you come back, you can't work, and uh, you know, they're not really gonna be very impressed. When it comes to being at sea in all these high temperatures and uh, being a musician and playing outside, that can be really, really challenging because inside it's all air conditioned, so, you know, my base is down here. But then uh, if we've got a deck set, like we've got a deck set later on today, you go up there, it could be any kind of temperature, you know, and then you bring up your base, you put it there, and the neck just goes Bleep. I remember once playing a deck set just off the coast of Africa, we were just working our way up to Kenya, and uh, we were pretty much around the equator, and it was so hot, I think it was 117 degrees up on deck, and um, we had all the gear set up, and you know, I put the base out there so it could acclimatise for a while so that I could get the neck in shape, so put it out there, and it was like sat there for maybe half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and then came to play it, and of course I picked it up, and it was the fender, and I'd still got the, uh, the little scratch plate on there, and <laughs> the strings, the, all the tuning pegs, all the metal on it was just boiling. You just burn your hands touching it and every time I was touching the strings I was like ow ow ow. Just laying my arm across on the body of it was just unbearable. It was crazy. And then of course we got to play an hour outside in 117 degrees and uh, whew. Today we've got a deck set to play, so we're gonna be out there for about half an hour. Don't know what kind of stuff we're gonna do. I think it might be kind of party songs, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, that should, that should be okay. 
As well as the heat, one of the other challenges playing outside on a ship is the wind, because you'll get these real strong sea winds across the open decks, and it can be really, really sunny, you know, a really nice day, but then you get these, you know, these gusts of wind, and um, if you're reading music, then that can be a real challenge, because then you've got to have the music on a music stand there, and you generally have to use things like perspex sheets to hold it down, and use clips, you know, to hold everything, clamp it all down onto the onto the music stands. And the music stands themselves can start flying away, you know. I've had some really embarrassing situations where I've been trying to get some extra music out of a pad, you know, to put on the music stand, and then the whole lot's just gone flying out across the decks. You know, the swimming pool down there, all the passengers watching, and there's this whole pad of music flying around, and everybody's trying to grab all the sheets of music. Using low-powered combo amps can also be a bit problematic outside, because when you get these big gusts of wind, the sound just ends up flying all over the place and you just can't hear yourself. Generally the amps that you'll use that are provided on the ship are gonna be small uh, combos. So the one that I'm using at the moment upstairs that's a Behringer so you can imagine it's not the greatest amp in the world. I just used to bring on my own amp a lot of the time and uh, it'd be pretty high powered so I'd have over a, a thousand watts on tap so that that had always cut through that used to be pretty good. As much as playing outside can sometimes be a bit of a pain it can also be one of the best gigs that you do on board because sometimes you'll just get a an amazing scene, you know, as you're, as you're leaving somewhere. I remember once playing up on deck for a sail away from Hawaii and, uh, you know, we're all set up playing and I just looked across and just a whole load of humpback whales were surfacing, you know, all there spouting as they're coming up and I thought, man, <laughs> you don't get this on your average gig back home. So we're going to be playing up there at 4.30 so I'm going to make sure to get up there a little bit early just to make sure everything's fine before we start and uh, yeah, then hopefully it'll be a good little gig. Well, this is where we're going to be playing. This is in all the ship's gear. I wish I brought my base stand. Oh. 